Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something incredibly simple, crunchy and yummy. I'm going to make vegetable spring rolls with a sweet and sour dipping sauce. This was requested by Jennifer, Q04KZ, and um, I don't know what all that's about. <laughs> but she actually asked for spring rolls or egg rolls, and um, you know, for, to me, an egg roll is uh, bread with an egg in it. Uh, but apparently, in some parts of the world, a spring roll is known as an egg roll, probably because there could be egg in the wrapper. However, this is a vegetarian, actually vegan version, because Jacqueline Moore has been asking for vegan recipes since forever. So here you go, here's one. <laughs> and there's no egg in these wrappers, so it's perfectly safe. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And here we go. Vegan spring rolls. Ingredients for the filling, I've got 140 grams of white cabbage, 140 grams of carrot, 140 grams of bean sprouts, some hoisin sauce, some soy sauce, about a half teaspoon of white pepper, and some, well, ground arrowroot. What I really wanted was corn flour or corn starch, but we seem to have run out, so this will do. It's just to make up with water, to make a slurry for thickening the filling and the sweet and sour sauce later on. Also, you want some spring roll pastry. Now, this says it's suitable for vegetarians. It doesn't say it's suitable for vegans, and if you're being really a purist, it's not, because it contains sodium cassinate, which everybody knows is derived from milk. Yeah, uh, so watch out for that one. Anyway, I'll put those back in the freezer till we're ready for them. We need to prep the veggies, so that means shred the cabbage. And the choice of veggies, you, this is just a basic kind of standard selection, but you could add like uh, bell peppers or celery or spring onions or anything you like really, as long as you can cut it into long thin strips. The carrots, I'm just gonna cut the ends off. and then cut them into matchsticks. Okay, before we start cooking the filling, I'm gonna make up a slurry with, well, the arrowroot or the corn, corn flour, whatever you've got. So it's two teaspoons of that, and then two teaspoons of water. And mix that together. Now I didn't mention oil, but you will need some sunflower oil and optionally also some sesame oil. Not too much of this because it's very, very strong flavoured. So we'll start with a tablespoon of sesame oil and a tablespoon of sunflower oil in a wok or frying pan. Then add the cabbage and the carrots and stir those well. Get them coated all over and let them cook for about a minute. Then we'll throw in the bean sprouts and some hoisin and some soy sauce and a little bit of white pepper. Cook those for about 30 seconds then start adding some of the slurry, not all of it, you won't need all of it. Um, just enough so that it makes the, the filling kind of sticky. <laughs> and then remove it from the heat. There we go. So I'll put that in a bowl and let it cool down. Once it stops steaming I'll probably put it in the fridge to speed up the cooling process. And would you believe it, look what I've just found. Light soy sauce, which is what you should use. Now, while I'm waiting for that to cool down, I'll make the sweet and sour dipping sauce. This is a very, very simple one, and probably not at all authentically Chinese. Brown sugar, about two thirds of a cup. Malt vinegar, about one third. Probably that much. <laughs> a couple of tablespoons of ketchup. Half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. Possibly more, but we'll we'll see. So whack this on the stove, heat it to get the sugar melted and get everything nice and smoothly mixed. So I'll just pop that in a little container. If you want it thicker, you can stir in more of the cornflour slurry, but I think this is fine. We'll set that aside. That needs to be cool before we use it as well. 
Okay, let's make some spring rolls. So you want your pastry. This has been out of the freezer about 10 minutes. So I can just about peel off some wrappers if I'm careful. Grab a spring roll wrapper and place it diagonally in front of you. So you've got a point pointing at you. And then pile some filling in the middle. Roll it up halfway and then fold in the sides and roll it up the rest of the way and wet the far edge with some of the corn flour slurry and finish rolling it and the slurry basically acts like glue so there you go there's one and there's two and and keep on going till you've used up all the filling. Okay, filling's all gone. <laughs> so I've made two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And at this point, you can have a rest <laughs> or carry on and cook them, or you could freeze them and uh, you know thaw them at some point in the future and, and fry them then. So I'll put those in the fridge and I'll cook them in the morning. Oh yeah, can't wait. Yeah, he says it's the next day, get on with it. Here's my spring rolls from yesterday. I'm just gonna do these four for the video because I need to save the rest for when Mrs. Keith Cooks gets in from work demanding her tea. So we need to heat up some oil in a wok or deep frying pan. Just enough oil to cover the spring rolls. And when the oil is hot, carefully lower in your spring rolls. It's always going to be best to only do four or five at a time anyway because you don't want to overcrowd the pan. You, you want them to be able to move around freely. Cook them for two or three minutes till they're golden brown. Take them out, drain them on kitchen paper. And basically, that's it. Amazing. There we go. Lovely spring rolls. You might be wondering why they're called that. And apparently it's because they were especially made to mark Chinese New Year and in the lunar calendar that's when spring starts special rolls for spring yeah whatever <laughs> anyway we're nowhere near that yet a couple of months ago but uh, I'm pretty sure these will be wonderful okay taste test <laughs> I'm ready for this so dip it in the dippy sauce Listen to that crunch. Mm. That is not half bad. It's not even a quarter bad. It's delicious. Mm -mm. Well, it's definitely a winner. It's a lot better than the cold, soggy, sad things that you get delivered from a Chinese takeaway. That's marvellous. And that sauce also. Mmm. -mm. <laughs> Finger licking good. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.